In this video, we're going to be relacing the conventional wrist to the standard setting, followed by the tightest setting. If you're new to relacing, the tools that you see on the table are all you really need. You could get one of those relacing kits at your local sporting goods store, but uh, this method is a lot easier. The main tool you're going to need is this threaded needle. The one I have is made by Tanners, and you can pretty much find it anywhere online. Just uh, search on Google or or wherever. You can reuse the same lace that you removed from the wrist, but I would recommend a fresh strip due to having to cut the lace to fit into the needle. You're going to want to start out by getting at least a 14 to 16 inch strip. I don't know how long this one is, but I know it's longer than 14 to 16. What you want to do the first step is to cut the lace at an angle like so. Then you're going to thread the needle. What we're going to do now is the standard wrist opening used on the majority of the gloves out there. You're going to want to start out in this upper left hole right here. I'm going to pull the lace through. Leave a little excess to tie the knot. I usually leave around a two inch excess. And when you do tie the knot, you're gonna lose two inches of this uh, measurement here. So if you want a two inch excess, you're gonna leave four inches out right now. That's what we're gonna do. Now you wanna enter this first hole here on the top. Push it through the second. Remaining with the top side up, we're going to go through the second hole on the outside, on top. Give the lace a little twist right there to make the X's look good. Now we're going to go upside down in this bottom hole, second to last, going up through the top. Pull it tight, but not too tight. Make sure you can move it just a little bit. Now we're going through the bottom hole on the outside. Now the tricky part, you still want to remain smooth side up here. You're going to want to go in through the second hole, back through the first. It's not pretty, but you get the point. Now, still smooth side up. Pull it out through the last hole on the outside. This should end up both smooth side up. Now I'll finish it off with a square knot. You should be good to go. Alright. What you want to do is you want to start in this upper left hand hole right here. Pull the lace through, but you're going to want to leave an excess of around four to five inches. Keep in mind Whenever you tie the knot, you're going to lose two inches. So depending on how long you want the excess lace to be, just uh, measure two inches ahead of that. I'm going to do uh, a three inch excess, so we'll measure out five. All right. You want to start in the second hole that you see on the top here. that through. Want to make sure you still have enough over here from doing all the pulling. That's about right. And you want to take it 
and go through the second hole on the top here. Alright, now that I got my needle re-threaded, I want to go through the bottom hole on the actual wrist portion. I'm going to take it up to the top one. I'm going to go bottom side up on here. Pull that tight, but not too tight. Enough to where you can bend the leather and uh, you won't see any wrinkles. Now what we want to do is go through the bottom hole on the outside portion. You got your X right there. Here's a little tricky part. I'm going to maintain the uh, smooth side up on this portion. I'm going to take it and go through is that the middle hole, or actually that's the third hole, and then go through the second. I don't know if you can see that. That one just as tight as the other one. Final step, take it through the last hole on the bottom. When you're done, the laces should end up going the same way. Smooth side up. Finish it off with a square knot. Then that's about it. I'll be doing uh, two more videos on how to make a wrist where you can easily adjust without having to do all this mess. Finally, we're going to do the tightest setting possible that you can do. You can see these on uh, the Pedroia gloves that there Wilson's coming out with. He has a small hand like I do. However, I don't use this. Alright, we're still going to start out at this top hole. But we're going to go all the way to the third hole. We're going to push it out the last. Actually, what you should do here is start with the lace upside down. Let's give it a little twist if you messed up like I did. Just makes it look better in the end. You want to pull that to those holes line up with each other. This first one to the last one. I don't even know if this glove will even do it. try. After you go through that hole, you're going to want to go through the second hole on top on the outside. Yeah, this is going to be a little tricky. Give the lace a twist because you want to show that smooth side up. Send this one through the bottom hole on the bottom. take this, give it a little twist so we can see the, the rough side. I'm going to send this just like the top, but on the bottom holes. Last hole, through the second to last. Then you can even throw it out the last hole all in one. Nice and tight. And that about does it. I'm actually going to see if I can even put my hand in here now. No. I can't.
can not. Just a word of advice, the tighter you go, the harder it's going to be to close your glove, as you can see. I really can't even close it. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos, reviews, whatnot of some nice leather, so uh, stay tuned in the future.